Hi there, everyone. My name's Stephanie, and today I will be explaining some common Unix commands. We execute these commands in a terminal program. And according to techterms.com, with modern computers, the word terminal usually refers to a terminal program or emulator which provides a text-based interface for typing commands. So, in other words, it's just another way of communicating commands to the computer. So when you open terminal, you see the command prompt here. And to execute a command, you type the command and hit enter. Now, today we're using terminal, but you can also use xterm, and xterm has a text editor. But today, we don't need that for the purposes of our video. So the first command we'll be learning is PWD and this stands for print working directory. This tells you what directory you are in and you should always start out in your home directory. So here you can see users and then this is the username that I'm logged in under. Now, the next command we're learning is ls. And the ls command lists all of the files in the directory that you're in. So here you see applications, desktop, documents, etc., etc. So now we want to navigate to our desktop directory. We type cd desktop. And CD stands for change directory. Then we hit enter. And now we're in our desktop directory. So this is the terminal view. And then over here is the graphical user interface or GUI. And that's the view of the desktop with the icons. And then the term terminal program is showing the same thing. It's just a different way of accessing things. The next command I will show you is how to create a new directory. The new directory will be created in the directory that you're currently in, which for us is desktop. So the command is mk dir and then you put a space and the name of the new directory that you're making. So I'm going to call mine test. So you hit enter and then you see test appear over here on your desktop. And when you create this folder if you type pwd shows that you're still under your desktop directory. So if I want to get into the test folder, I type CW test. And now when I type PWD, it shows that I'm now in my test directory. So if I want to switch to folder one through the terminal view, I'm in my test, test directory right now, so I have to go back to my desktop directory to switch to folder one. Because if I type in folder one, now it gives me an error message, command is not bound. So to get back to my test direct, or my desktop directory, I have to type cd space dash space test. Then when I hit pwd again, type pwd, it shows that we're back on our desktop directory. So now I can go to folder one directory, cd folder 
one. I'll type PWD. Now it shows that we are in our folder one directory here. So we don't have a program running right now, but it's useful to note that if you type control C, it stop, terminates a program from running. Um, and it's also useful to note that if you type CD, enter, it will take you back to your home directory. So if you're having trouble navigating through directories, you can always start over by returning to your home directory. If we type PWD, it will show us that we're back the home directory. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful.